Hello, hi, hello. Hi, my people. <laughs> so, these glasses have no lenses and they're not straight, just like this video. Get it, because it's, it's gay. Subscribe if you're new. As a young, closeted Jesse Page, I would watch a show called The L Word on a separate Netflix account. Today, Jesse Page with a very gay channel now and gay apartment, that's a bowl of lemons, yes. I wanted to have all of my people all of you guys be a part of this. So I had you guys submit your coming out stories and we all reacted as a cast. In the show, there's all different types of representation. So kind of fangirl moment for me. I mean, what? No. I'm so grateful for this opportunity and I'm so happy that all of you guys could be a part of this. So thank you so much for submitting your coming out stories. Happy, sad, funny, sentimental, emotional. It was really sweet. The L Word Generation Q, all the info will be in the description box. Now on Showtime, I'm so happy that they brought back the L Word, especially with some new characters. I love you. Enjoy. Hello, I'm Jesse, and today I'm here with... I'm Alicia. <laughs> I'm Kate. From The L Word. I personally grew up watching The L Word. Secretly had a Netflix account to watch it. So oh, really? It's a cool moment for me. I love that. <laughs> yeah. I also love the new season. It's great. Good. Oh, good. Yeah. Thank you. Good, good. Love the premiere last night. It came in with a bang. It was great. I yes. honestly couldn't stop watching, and I feel like as much as the original L Word touched on so many important things, this new season just like brings in all these new concepts as well and it's mm -hmm. great. Yeah. Great. And I am here with... Hi, I'm Jacqueline Taboni. I uh, play Sarah Finley on The L Word Generation Q. Hi, I'm Ariane Mandy and I play Danny Nunez on The L Word Generation Q. And I have watched it and I can say from personal experience, it's great. <laughs> <laughs> My professional opinion. I love that, thank you. Of course. Hello, I'm here with Leo and Rosani from The L Word Next Generation Q. Yes. <laughs> I have like a young queer audience and I thought it'd be cute if they submitted coming out just like their stories and we could react together. I thought it'd be cute. Oh, I'm ready for okay, it. Yeah. Ready. My mom was the second adult I told and she was only mad because I didn't tell her first. That's really sweet. Cute. Yeah, moms, yeah. right? Moms, you gotta go to the mom. Moms are the That's best. That's what I did. I had my mom fly in. I lived in New York at the time. I had her fly in to tell her something. <laughs> and uh, I took the whole weekend and then I finally told her and she was the, had the greatest response. And then once we went through our whole emotional thing together, I was like, can you just tell the rest of the family? Because I don't want to have to go through that again. Oh. So she did. I love that. Yeah. Well, thank you for sharing. <laughs> what is this reaction? Oh my gosh. I love this person. My granddad said, all gays go to hell. And I said, well, I've always wanted to meet Satan. <laughs> You are incredible. Girl. I love that. You are incredible. That, wow. That is a hey. good comeback. <laughs> yeah. I props. I made a scavenger hunt with pictures spelling out I'm by at Cute. Queer That's Street. That's genius. Wow. I wonder if they put like an NSYNC CD. Oh! <laughs> um, yeah. I wonder if NSYNC knows. That I wonder amazing. if they know that they wrote a by anthem. Oh my goodness. They do know. <laughs> I sent a meme that says, quote, the only, the only test I ever aced was the Am I gay test? <laughs> <laughs> My granddad hugged me and he yelled, We love boobs when I told him I was bisexual. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that's awesome. Your granddad uh, is awesome. I came out to my cousin while buying a gay poster at Walmart. What was, yeah. the gay what was the gay poster? I don't know, it doesn't say. That's the mystery. But my uncle asked me what I wanted for Christmas and I told him a girlfriend and he said, huh. He can't buy that on Amazon. I mean, at least, at least she told her uncle that. Um, his yeah. uncle said he can't buy a girlfriend. <laughs> I mean, at least the uncle has a sense of humor. Yeah, That's a great way to handle it. Yeah. I came out to my grandma and she said, I've always had a gaydar and you were on it. <laughs> grandma. These grandparents I can't so believe good. she knows Sassy what a gaydar is. <laughs> it's Granddad's yeah, love right boobs and grandmas have gaydar. It's a hip grandma. See, you know, I feel like they always know, right? <laughs> and they're just like waiting. Like, when Even if in their it? denial for a little while, they still deep down in their psyche now. Yeah. I told my best friend over text, and I was so scared because she's from a very religious family, but she was super accepting, and I felt a huge weight lifted from my shoulders. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, Props. This is so nice. There's a lot of touch on um, religion and sexuality in the show, too. Yeah, so 
my character grew up Catholic, mm -hmm. and I've never seen any character on TV sort of as an adult deal with their queer identity and their religious upbringing. And it was really fun to do, and I'm so excited for people to see the story just because I feel like it needs to be told. I wish I had. Came out at a Panic at the Disco concert to the song Girls, Girls, Boys. A good song. No better time to come out than at time. a concert. I feel like it should be playing right now. Do you guys know that song? Yes. Mm, do I know that song? I listen to I Panic at the it. Disco like crazy. Uh, I came out to my family at a doctor's appointment because the doctor asked if I could get pregnant. That's I, like, hilarious. Wow. I mean, you, you know, you could have just said no. Come <laughs> 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 out to your doctor. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It's, it's hard to tell are the cliffhangers. Yes. Yeah. It's hard to tell like, yeah. the tone. I'm like, what happened? I hope you're okay. I just yeah. want to give you a hug. I, I want. I However want to give went, you a hug. You a That's what I want to do. This great doctor. Again, yeah. the, the the bold aspect to all these, like just throwing yeah. something out there, like really just outright saying something like that is. I, I'm. That's amazing. What's your favorite scene from the first episode? I have to say, a lot <laughs> of my favorites, favorite scenes from the original were watching Leisha interact with. Poppy. <laughs> that was yeah. <laughs> that was that was something from the new season. Don't make a way like that. <laughs> all your stuff, all of it. Cute. All of it. My friend did the classic stumble out of the pantry because she's pansexual. <laughs> <laughs> so I've never heard that. Yeah, I was like, I, yeah, I couldn't read it at first. That's is that a, is that a term? Stumble, now it is. Pantry? Who made it? In coming the, um, out of the closet, or you can come out of the pantry. Coming out of the pantry. Because you're modern. If you're pan bisexual, pan where would you come pantry. out of? An in sync concert. The oh, wow. <laughs> oh, yeah. Love it. <laughs> oh, is, that a, is that a saying? <laughs> oh, um, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Is it? <laughs> Don't ask me. <laughs> I've never heard that. She came out of the pantry as Pan. Mm. Get a That's clever. Pan. Mm. I'm just serving up my <laughs> sexuality. Oh my gosh. My dad will find out when he gets an invitation to my wedding. <laughs> I was saying that's very, um, I got this one very accurate to the season. Danny kind of like, like she kind of like true. rekindles with her dad a little bit during yeah. the wedding. Mm, well, right. I mean, I don't know the rest. Oh. <laughs> Spoilers. I walked up to my mom on April Fool's Day and said, I'm straight. I was also crying, so I think she got it. Oh, wow. On April Fool's Day. I came out to my mom and she spent three years calling it a phase until one day I came home with my girlfriend, looked her dead in the face and said, I told you it wasn't a phase. Good for that girlfriend. Yeah. Good for you. Yeah. Good for you. Keep doing that? you. I mean, you know what? So, That's like a I said, typical story, right? That's a typical story. And you, yeah. like I said, like even if they're in denial, deep down in their psyche, they have to accept it at some point. Good for this person for just saying, it's not a phase, Ma. Yeah. Fucking yeah. listen to me in the first place. Yeah. I told my mom I was bi, and she said, me too. That's cute. <laughs> Your mom wins. That is a clap. That is a, <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's cute. Sad. That's great. That's cute. <laughs> <laughs> yes. My friends dared me to kiss a boy, and sitting next to him was my crush. I kissed her instead. Nice. Oh! I nice. love that. Oh, hey. Oh, wow. all right. That's ballsy. <laughs> it is. Wow. Mm. But also, like, I want to know how it turned out. I know. Like, what happened with Can the Can you crush? get follow-up stories? My aunt saw my Instagram stories, and she texted me saying she couldn't wait to take me to Pride. Cute. That's adorable. That's a cool aunt. Yeah. <gasps> That's so cool. I just got chills. <laughs> Oh, I love that. Who is your favorite character? Ooh, My yes. My favorite character? Of the original. Sometimes. Okay, the original is always a Shane fan. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Do you have any advice for any queer kids that maybe are having like coming out stories where maybe like they have these situations and things don't go as well? Before we get into the advice stuff, I think as a yeah. show we didn't want um, people to feel like uh, queer life is sad and is like, you know, these these really heavy coming out stories over and over again because I feel like um, with some television shows and um, just like content in general, if there's one queer character, they kind of get saddled with um, all of the. It's like a it's like a coming out story, and I feel yeah. like we in this show we don't have that. 
No. And it kind of just focuses on everyday trials, you know what I mean? Like things yeah. that we go through in our, in our everyday lives, in our relationships, with our, with our colleagues or our significant others, our family, like things that we all deal with that are, that are not, like that, that, that is an, a very important portion of our lives. But yeah. I, I feel like it gives people the opportunity to see past what they're going through right. and yeah. see what their life could be. Um, like once you fully accept yourself, there are just so many people waiting to love you and accept you. And if you um, are not happy in the situation that you are in, there is a place for you in the world. So if you are old enough and you have the means, get out if um, where you are isn't serving you. I love that. I think I want to say don't, don't underestimate the power that you have. Don't underestimate how strong you can be and, and how how bold you can be in, in this situation. Just, you know, do whatever feels good to you. Rip off the Band-Aid if that means just telling someone and and know that no matter what, you you are enough. You're loved, people love you, people will accept you. It's, it's not, everything's gonna be okay. Yeah, go with your pace yeah. and your time. I wish somebody told me that. Hannah Montana's Best of Both <laughs> Worlds came on and I came out as bi. I Dude. love this coming out during songs thing. I do too. Great. <laughs> Get love it, it. Addie. <laughs> Addie Leah B. I think this Miley Cyrus would love to hear oh, that. Oh yeah, wait, that's true. <laughs> I played I Kissed a Girl by Katy Perry on the ukulele and sang it to my grandma. Wow. Uh, interesting. Nice. I on love the ukulele. That. I love the ukulele. My Nana told my granddad I had a date with a girl and he said, okay, she deserves a pretty girlfriend. I get what, it. The these granddads coming through. These patriarchs just <laughs> so good. Makes just me say it all the right things. Yeah, usually, you know, it's like down with the patriarchy, but the patriarchs <laughs> in these it, stories, it means, the granddad, are yeah, crushing. He also just realizes her self worth. Like you do deserve a pretty girlfriend. <sighs> <laughs> I came out to my dad this year as bi, and it was the most genuine I love you that I've heard in years. I'm gonna cry. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Shout out to that dad. Oh, dad. <laughs> I love this. I came out to my dog, and he accepted me. Smiley face. <laughs> oh, the smiley oh, face makes it even that. cuter. Well, if someone was watching this and oh, maybe this... didn't have a good experience, what's like something you'd want to tell them? That it's gonna be uh, okay. Yeah. And yeah. that, and that, and oh, man, I mean. Yeah, I just think it can it can feel very hard, but you find your people and you find your community, and yep. you're you're surrounded by so many people that love you. Eventually, you just it's 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 a beautiful thing to be queer, and it's mm -hmm. a beautiful thing to celebrate, and and not to ever be ashamed of it. Ever, and, and you'll f you'll find your people. And you will people. find your tribe, no no question. And chosen family. Chosen family, and that saying of this too shall pass. It's true. Why should they watch the show? Well, two of my favorite characters on the show are oh, and, and, and <laughs> Angie and Sophie. Jeez. Angie and Sophie. Sing. They're incredible, are two of our youngest actresses, and they are so talented. And seeing their relationship together on screen is like one of the most amazing oh, things. Yeah. Any last words you'd like to say about the show and just like to young queer kids that might watch this? I don't want to speak for both of us, but we have talked about this. And I think, mm -hmm. you know, we see you and we want to, we just want to show that queer life isn't always tinged with tragedy. Well, we want people to have a place to see themselves. Yep. And, yeah. Yeah. Be represented. Absolutely. So I hope we do you right. Awesome. No, thank you. Thank I you. Hope you thank enjoyed. you. <laughs> yeah, thank I you. appreciate your time. Thank, thank you. you so much. It's so nice to meet you. Um, and thanks to everyone for sending in these stories. Yeah, um, thank thanks you guys. Thanks you guys. Appreciate it. Thank you for opening up. And thank you to Showtime for sponsoring this video. And um, be sure to watch the L Word Generation Q with these lovely faces. Yeah! So I hope you enjoyed. I'm going to feature your Jesse Pages on the screen as well as your posts. I guess I'll give my coming out story. I told the internet before I told my parents and I was like, if everyone accepts me online, I guess they can't say anything mean to my face. That's kind of sad. Now she's here and queer, yay. Um, and if you wanna share your stories down below, if you wanna like create little chats and like 
support people, cheer people on, that could be kind of adorable. That would be very adorable, let's be real. And we have a very wholesome fandom, so I have no doubt in my mind that y'all can pull that off. I love you. Bye.